More than 15 years and more than 23 lakh cars later, the Maruti Suzuki Swift continues to be a top-selling car for the company. And in fact, it is the best-selling car in its segment. Now, all these years, the Swift has enjoyed the status of being a very driver-friendly car. But over the last few years, we have seen new competition coming in and especially from the turbocharged petrol cars. But now, Maruti Suzuki has decided to give Swift a much needed facelift but the changes like you can see are not much on the outside most of these changes are inside and what do these changes mean for you and what is the change in prices and can the swift still fend off its competition well enough let's find out so what's new in the new swift well on the outside, the only change is uh, the updated grille, which now comes with a horizontal chrome element. It's a protruding element, so the overall length of the car has gone up by about 5 millimeters. That's about it. Of course, there are new color options, so you can have the red car with a black roof or a blue car with a white roof or a white car with a black roof. You also get auto-retractable ORVMs, so that's about it as far as the external changes are concerned. In the cabin, again, the story is pretty much the same, not any radical change that you will notice once you step inside, but look closely and there are some changes. The touchscreen is a smart play system. It supports Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. So on that front, you're pretty sorted, no issues on that. But uh, what Maruti Suzuki has done, and it's a smart thing, they have uh, gone into the Beleno parts bin and picked up bits and put it here. So when you look at the, new instrument cluster. Well, the twin pods remain the same, but uh, between them, the MID screen, that digital screen is what comes from the Beleno. So that's a new thing. And of course, it gets a more colorful and a more uh, good looking display. Lots of information. You can even uh, view stuff such as uh, what kind of power and torque you're using at any given point of time, uh, how much accelerator and uh, brake inputs you're giving. So a lot of that in addition to the usual information that is available. So that's a good thing. Uh, beyond that, uh, not much uh, of a change inside the cabin. In addition to that, uh, you also now get cruise control. So that's a good thing for people who drive frequently on highway. So that will be a welcome addition for uh, people in. And uh, But that's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, of course, everything else is uh, the same. It still has uh, your automatic climate control, still the dashboard looks uh, decent. I wouldn't say it's the best looking or the material quality is the best in the segment, but uh, yes, it does the job. It uh, looks the part and uh, in terms of quality also, it's quite nice. As far as space is concerned, the seats are concerned, nothing has changed because uh, the car dimensionally stays the same. So at the rear, you still have a pretty decent amount of space. Legroom, headroom is nice, so you can look at the Swift uh, for um, a multi-purpose usage even for a family usage or for uh, uh, your own personal usage it will uh, turn out to be a good car on all those fronts the boot space is also nice but there are a few things that were missing in the previous swift that maruti suzuki could have uh, added in this vehicle but um, unfortunately those uh, haven't been added yet so well, the rear seat still does not have an armrest. There are no rear AC vents. And well, if you look at the other cars these days, one would expect features such as a wireless charging pad, uh, which again is missing. So that's about it as far as the cabin is concerned. And now onto the biggest change, which is the engine. This engine comes straight off from the Belena and it's a 1.2 liter dual jet engine. So yes, it gets uh, more power. And uh, from the 82 horsepower, output from the earlier Swift. Now this one gives you 88 horsepower and that slight bump in power does not come at the cost of fuel efficiency because the claim fuel efficiency numbers have gone up. So in the case of uh, the AMT, the claim fuel efficiency number is up over the previous version by about two kilometers to a liter. So that's great news for everyone who drives uh, this car, especially in, in today's time when fuel prices are rocketing. Now, uh, coming to the performance, well, uh, the engine definitely is a very refined unit. I would go on to say that this is one of the most refined engines in its class because this is not a three-cylinder engine. It's a proper four-cylinder engine, so there are very less vibrations 
and uh, the refinement levels are quite high. So that's a really nice thing. With the increase in the power, the performance too has improved, uh, I would say, not greatly, but yes, uh, the difference is perceivable. So you now drive the Swift with the new engine and you feel it's slightly quicker. There's a little more zippiness in the performance. So that's a good thing. The Swift was always a good car to drive. It's a little better now. Now, the only slight issue is that unlike the turbocharged engines that are being seen in the segment today, this one is a naturally aspirated one and to get that power, I mean, to get the engine to its boiling temperature, you know, you really need to thrash it to above, say about three and a half, four thousand 4000 RPM and that takes some time and that means power does not come instantly. So that kind of uh, dampens the driving joy a bit, but once you get in the right power band, it is pretty good to drive. Gearbox options remain unchanged, so you get a 5-speed manual or you can choose a 5-speed AMT, which Maruti calls the AGS Auto Gear Shift. Now, the one that we are driving is the one with the AMT box and uh, I quite like the way this has been paired with the engine. The head nods and the lag between the shifts has been controlled very well. It's uh, far lesser than what you will see on some other uh, AMT cars in the segment. So in terms of a refined and a proper driving experience, I think this really ranks high. This has been the strength of Swift uh, ever since this generation came out. And I think with this update, uh, it just extends that gap even further from its rivals. As far as the ride and handling goes, well, no change has been made to the car, no ch big change in terms of the weight as well. So it rides and handles like the earlier Swift did. Uh, so that means it's still a nippy car. You can tuck it into corners at a rapid space and you can, uh, again, in terms of straight line stability also, I mean, there is nothing to complain of. The suspension is uh, set slightly on the firmer side. So that means that once you get going uh, up to a certain speed or beyond that, the ride quality improves considerably at lower speeds. I wouldn't say it's the it has the best ride quality, but yes, again, it's a very good balance that it offers. So, uh, yeah, I mean, a very balanced experience. And what has improved though is the braking department because the brake setup remains the same, discs up front, drums at the rear, but the size of the brakes has gone up and bigger brakes means more stopping power and that can be felt in the Swift panic stops. Well the brakes do a very good job of anchoring in the car and bringing it to a quicker and a more reassuring stop and of course if you opt for this amt model you also get traction control and uh, hill start assist which makes things easier and safer The updated Maruti Suzuki Swift then is more powerful yet more fuel efficient and at the same time it now gets a few new convenience features. But with all this it also gets a price hike and well you can see the prices on the screen right now. So somewhere in the region of about 20,000 is what you will pay in addition to what you are paying for the older Swift and at these prices the Swift is not the most competitively priced product in its segment or even the most value for money product in its segment. If you compare these prices with the prices of the Grand Eitan Neos from Hyundai, you'll see that the Grand Eitan Neos is priced much more competitively. But the Swift now is better. It continues to be a car that is fun to drive, hassle-free to drive, and at the same time, it balances a lot of things very well. And now it's more powerful and has new features. So yes, it's better than ever. Not the best, but that doesn't make a big difference because the Swift has something that no other car has in the segment and that is what matters to a lot of Indians. And that thing is this badge. The Swift is a Maruti Suzuki.